morning. This is the day the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in the Community of Tradition in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And today is Wednesday, February the 10th. We are focusing on prayer this week. And uh, yesterday, the devotion that I had written came from... um, Mark's Gospel, the first chapter, we heard it on Sunday, verse 35. Early the next morning, while it was still dark, Jesus woke and left the house. He went to a lonely place where he prayed. We had heard on Sunday about how Simon's mother-in-law had a fever and Jesus had um, resurrected um, uh, Simon's mother-in-law from her illness. And she went about to serve uh, the Lord. And so right after all of the healings that took place after that, Jesus went to a quiet place where he needed to pray. Actually, he snuck out of the house early in the morning to go and pray. And uh, we just your questions for yesterday was like, what would that have been like to have seen, to have observed, to have observed Jesus praying? Um, what position was Jesus taking? What was Jesus saying? Was it how was he holding his hands? I mean, uh, was it quiet? Was he standing? Was he kneeling? And it's just so fun to think about that. And then, what are the ways and where are the places in which you pray? And how might it be different? And have you ever thought of snucking, sneaking out of the house early in the morning to go and pray? Well, today we're going to talk about times in which Jesus would pray. Jesus prayed all of the time. And um, it is most notable, notably um, significant in Luke's gospel, um, how many times Jesus had gone off to a place to pray. But it's also what's important is the times in which Jesus would go uh, to pray, to recharge Um, his energy when he was tired, certainly, but also in particular when there were important decisions that were happening in his life. So Jesus is ready to call um, his apostles, the 12, um, and um, he had a decision to make. And so how does Luke's gospel tell the story? Well, I'm going to read that for you. Um, It is in chapter 6. Now, during those days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray. And Jesus spent the night in prayer to God. And when day came, he called his disciples and chose 12 of them, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew and James and John and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James, son of Alphaeus and Simon, who was called the Zealot and Judas, son of James and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Notice what Jesus did. Jesus went away the entire evening, spent in prayer, seeking guidance, seeking wisdom. Holy Spirit in me, help me to communicate with Creator, God, in understanding who it is that our Creator, God, would have me call to be the Twelve that will lead. There were many, many disciples that followed Jesus wherever Jesus went, but there were 12 in which he spent much of his time. Uh, He would take them away. He would share things with them. And so this is an important decision. Who should those 12 be? Now, sometimes we can think that maybe God misguided Jesus, uh, our our Redeemer, in calling uh, Judas Iscariot. But Judas Iscariot had a very important role. Sometimes I think Judas can be misunderstood in the role that, um, that he played. Uh, in the passion, and uh, we can, we'll certainly talk about that at Lent. But for now, I want you to focus on how Jesus, when Jesus had important um, decisions that he had to make, he didn't do it by himself. Jesus did not do it by himself. Jesus would go off to a place where he would spend time in prayer and listen for how the Father, how the Creator of the universe, Mother, Father, God, was calling for Jesus to call certain people. How is it, Jesus is asking, that I should move forward? Who among all these disciples that are with me day in and day out should I focus on in this training, in this leadership role? And those were the 12 that our Creator, Mother, Father, God, uh, guided Jesus to make. And so when the day came, he came down off the mountain 
and chose the 12. On this day, on this Wednesday, as you go about your day, there are many decisions that you will be making. So hear, hear how Jesus made those decisions. He spent time in prayer. And on this day, I challenge you to do the same exact thing that Jesus has done. When there are decisions, guidance, wisdom that you need, go to your creator God. Go to your redeemer God, Jesus Christ. And ask the Holy Spirit, the sustainer, to help you make the best choices for this time. Good luck with this. I know you can do it. We practice prayer together all the time. Ask and then listen. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Blessings. Blessings.